Um, so this is a guy named Finster. He's been around for a while. He's Australian. Um, at some point in his career, he has decided that he will do full time cosplaying. And I think what happened is, is that he started doing like Omegle troll streams where he would dress up like a girl. And there's like a really, really famous one where he's like, like he's talking to a guy and the, uh, like the guy is also in drag and he's like, like, I don't know. They just, he knows that it's another cross dresser and he, they both break character and they're doing their girl voice and shit. And it's like a very popular meme. Um, but he, he is associated. He, he's like two degrees of separation from the goon clown shit, which I will not summarize. If you know, you know, uh, cause there is, he is friends with somebody named soda cat and soda cat is a pornographer, like outright pornographer, um, who was caught in DM chains with, uh, goon clown sending him like sissy hypno, like you want to jerk off to child pornography or you want to like expose children to pornography, like goon hyp hypnosis videos. And then soda cat replied with like a heart emoji and said, Oh my God, so cute or some shit. It was really weird. Um, and of course, Fenster is going to run to the defense of his friend and say that actually all the people who are talking about this are um, transphobes. Do you expect Finn to read something? Soda told me to read books recently. Soda, of all people. I was like in my feels for a little bit. And Soda said, you know what would help? Like reading, like read a book. And I went, what? Is there a book that I should read to help? And he went, just, no, read. He just called me a dumbass. And I went, why? Brain, brain plasticity. Which, fine, sure. Picture books with big donks. <laughs> I read all the time. They're like little... So there are these little anime characters. And Listen. they have speech bubbles. One of them's always getting railed. Uh, his, the... He's talking about Sodicat, who's the guy who got sent the video and responded positively to it. After mentioning that he's still in contact with Sodicat, um, people start giving him shit about this. Um, actually, he gets sent porn by Sodicat during the stream. Why did Soda DM me? Oh, okay, good. It wasn't <laughs> normal. Um. And then, where's the one where he complains about the transphobes? I thought it was this one right here. Oh, it was. Okay, hold up. Finn, I am concerned about you being friends oh, with Soda Christ. Cat. There was some Twitter... People have been trying to get Fencer to address the Soda Cat shit for months, and people have basically given up hope that anyone would take him to task over it, but this super chat for $3 finally got him to crack the shell and talk about his relationship with a guy who's into gooning and child porn or whatever the fuck. Drama a while back about him being into illegal stuff. What are your thoughts? I hope you are not involved with that stuff. Oh, good lord. I hate this. I hate, I hate this cringe. Um, yes. The, 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 com <laughs> the account that posts strictly is literally named like trans people taking L's, I'm sure has absolutely no reason to invoke a friend of a friend of a friend in drama because they're trans. <laughs> I'm sure that has no bias to it. I'm absolutely sure. Go watch the Turkey Tom video, it's fine. Soda Cat allegedly did what? Didn't. I mean, it was essentially that one guy, one, one, like, essentially, here's the drama explained. Um, there was a guy that is a genuine monster, who is an awful person, uh, was in a Discord serv server with Soda Cat. The, he got, the monster of a person got doxxed, and then, like, Soda and the guy had spoken, like, once, I think, like that. Just do it, and it was a gooning server, so some porn server. So, one dude on a porn server was a damn pedophile. And then, because Soda was there, and me and Soda knew each other, and me and Chris from Mr. Beast knew each other, Chris is a bad person. That's how it works. Chris, uh, Chris is awful. They're also trans, which makes them even worse. 
Chris, transgender woman, essentially guilty by default. So, <laughs> who, wait, Chris, what'd they do? Exactly, they were fuck awful. They, they essentially did everything. That makes sense. <laughs> like, it's like a five removed thing. Least based alt-right gimmick account. Yeah, right. The, the, the account is called something like, um... Like, they couldn't write trans people taking L, so they wrote valid people taking L's. <laughs> and the account's just like... I don't know. I've, I think I... I don't think I ever blocked them, but I did like... Every... I don't know. There, there's probably some new drama involving some trans person that they don't like. Or that... Right wing fucking trolls don't like. <laughs> I don't know. I sent them like two paragraphs worth of telling them they suck. Yeah, I don't want any, I don't want any of that smoke though, to be quite frank. Listen, it only takes one fucking insane person and I'm I'm done. On a different note. <laughs> I was like people in chat are being very nice to this creature. So I decided I would go through and I will show you what they actually look like. Um keep in mind there's a there's a better picture for this. This is what I could find on short notice. Uh, just to give you an idea, this guy says that he's not a troon, he just does the cross-dressing for fun. So I want to give you an idea. This is what he looked like before, and that's what he looks like after all his surgery. And professional lighting, like his lights are set up in a way that's very flattering. He ha Notice that the, the camera angle is now pointed up. He's doing every trick in the book to try and look more feminine. He's cut off his nose, he's reduced his chin. He's reduced his, uh, I think his cheeks are fine, but he's got his, it looks like he's got the, the buccal fat on um, his uh, cheeks taken out. And he's done something with his brow ridge as well. So this guy, uh, if you don't know, was giving literally tens of thousands of dollars by some guy to get these surgeries to look more feminine. And uh, I think that, w I don't know if this was a joke or not, but someone posted that, um, he stopped donating before the fake tits could get added. So he like stuffs his shirt still. And this is like the most passing tranny on Twitch. And as an added bonus, he streams uh, to, to kids. So his streams are all like rated PG 13. So uh, his whole shtick is like exposing young people as young as possible to, uh, to the concept of cross dressing. And then coincidentally, by the way, he gave that very stalwart defense of Soda Cat. He was merely an innocent bystander in a very normal gooning chat where they were sharing videos about how it's hot to expose children to pornography. And this is Soda Cat and Finster are, are directly linked. So it's sort of like a tier. You have tier one. And you have this guy like, oh, haha, ha, I'm just a silly boy dressed up like a girl on Twitch. Watch me play League of Legends or whatever I do while dressed as a girl. Teehee, you could look like me too if you started cross-dressing and doing HRT. Tier two, you have Soda Cat, who is one degree of separation. You can easily find him through uh, like Twitch and shit. Finster, by the way, does OnlyFans. It's not like hardcore pornography yet, but it is like like not safe for work. So one degree of separation from the twitch.tv PG 13 Finster streaming thing is the soda cat, which is an outright porn account about gooning and weird fetishes and shit. One degree of separation from soda cat is the guy who's just outright addicted to child pornography and can't masturbate without it and masturbates eight hours a day. It is, it is a literal slippery slope and they know what they're doing and it's not a joke. Uh, for instance, this is a, uh, him. He is watching a video on YouTube, the lockpicking lawyer, lawyer on uh, April Fool's Day and sometimes Valentine's Day. Does joke videos where he picks a lock on something silly as opposed to actually reviewing a lock and its security mechanisms. In this one, he got a chastity cage and decided to review that. And here we have Fencer uh, watching this review uh, for his for his audience. Oh no! I considered love locks but picking them is really in opposition to the spirit of the day. But there is a lock out there, cruel in conception and use, that is completely antithetical to that which we celebrate on Valentine's oh no. Day. It is of course- Losing the key sounds me. dangerous, like ending up on the lock picking lawyer's channel because of it. Well-timed donor. So I'm going to show you how to open one up. 
Now I realize that not all of the poor souls imprisoned by these devices will have access to lockpicking tools. So we're going to need to get creative. I've been sent many of these. And have I ever... Tr I'm not... Okay, look. I'm not saying that I've ever tried. I'm not saying that I've ever tried. But they're too small. Surely. Surely they're too small. That is far too small. Because you, your balls aren't here in this scenario. They're here. That is far too small. Isn't that like the point? I, I don't know. Escaping from such an Dude, this poor guy in chat. <laughs> Sorry, hang on a minute. This poor fucker in chat. Just said, has said twice now, like copy pasting it. How do I make the quarry in create? How do I make a create quarry in, eight, in all the mods eight, which is a Minecraft mod? So I noticed this I uh, coincidentally while just uh, clicking a boot. Um, that. Uh, Finster comes out and he complains about Valid L's talking about his association with like the goon clown shit. And uh, just now, Valid L's was banned. And then he came back an hour later. They got him. They almost got him. They thought. Th <laughs> I don't get to come back though. They almost got the boy, my boy, Valid L's. Um, they only got him for an hour though before Elon Musk personally unbanned him and reprimanded everyone involved in it. Yeah, kids asking about Minecraft in chat. Yeah, he's a oh, it's not League of Legends. He's literally this guy, this guy reviewing cock cages I'm just, ah! on, on Twitch is a Minecraft Let's Player. You mean to tell me that this guy who is who is friends with Gooners? Who is for, who are friends with Gooners who watch child porn is just so coincidentally a Minecraft YouTuber, the most basic entry level kids watching Twitch type streamer possible. Uh, just a coincidence. This guy, he just loves Minecraft. He likes it when you put the block on the other block and you make it into a little house and then you add a door and then. Pfft, Boom! Creeper! Oh no! Ha ha! Oops! I wanted. I was so shocked when the creeper blew up my dirt house that my balls hurt in my cuck cage. <laughs> Whoopsie, kids! Let me turn off my my. I gotta pull up this lock picking lawyer video to uncut my balls because I just hurt them. They got them. I got a testicular torsion when that creeper blew up. Just like fucking nuts, bro. Um, uh, this shit also got posted to Validels, him, him seeding about, um, about whatever the fuck this is. <sighs> Try to be a positive poly chat, but I'm often a negative Nancy. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CSA of Remember to like and subscribe.